What's good, Council of Comics? We're doing Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 4. Let's go! Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes? My bitch, she got her ass off that empty throne and she is putting in work. I love it. We didn't waste no time. It wasn't like six episodes of her doing nothing. No, she's in it to win it. I love it. Yeah, she's I really think she's doing it. Family, yeah, but I think she's family. doing it to, to you think she's got an ulterior motive? I think she's no. doing it to reel them in so she can use them for. And, and I th th and I think I think both things are true. I think she is she is like feeling it you know because like they're like they're like this is like the original tribe not not the guys you've been running around with like yeah, right. we do it the old way yeah right mm -hmm. and they immediately when she's like you were in the waters you've yeah. been cleansed Absolutely. you're one of us they immediately walked over Absolutely. to her and and embraced her even basically like her clan was even reinstated yeah. Yeah. just be, yeah. just because she did the the she bathed in the waters so i love it i love that she spent some time with the armorer and they talk about it, um, and she's like, she's like, I, I saw a mythosaur. She goes, it's an amazing vision. She goes, no, I saw it. Well, that's yeah. why I that think, was so right cool. End, that was like the end of the episode. That was yeah, cool that's why I think she's using this to for her own ends, and that's fine. That's her, but I also will do that right, but because she didn't tell Dinjara. Well, because she, now she could have told him too. There's I thought no, she was keeping it a secret until she told the armor. Yeah. Yeah, but you know why would mean? she I not was tell? Like, wait, I was like, that made me think. No, why wait, would she there's, tell her? Why would she not, not tell? tell there's uh, another. Yeah. There's another way we may not be looking at this, right? She kept asking him, "Did you see anything?" Maybe she was afraid of his reaction if she told him what she saw, because look at the That's reaction fair. that the armorer gave her, right? Mm -hmm. be, so she, so she already knows people are gonna have a hard time believing it. I mean, the armorer basically is like, "No, that thing is only legend," and she's like. Um, the only way they're gonna believe is when she comes. She, and she and, and I know it's sword. coming, dude. That I would swear. Be an epic no. episode eight moment where she yes. rides in on the mythosaur. That's not a. Is that an amphibious beast though? Like how is she gonna? It's both. It's, oh, both. it's it, both. It's like it, you know. It's like Aquaman can be on water for twenty four hours. I mean, I did like when she asked to because she loses her uh, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. and she asks for a new one, and, and she says, "Oh, you know, can I? Is it okay if I have?" The mythosaur as opposed to the night owl, and she's like, yeah. it belongs to all she's of us. She's like, belongs to all of us. I'm like, well, how great is that? Yeah. Oh, is that, and you know what I love? I love that she got a little bit. It's a little bit mythosaur and a little bit of the night owl. Yeah. Oh, is it, I didn't right say what because it was right. because she to, she told her. Wait, didn't she say I want both or something? No, she says is it okay if I have uh, if I have yeah. right because uh, like, if I have uh, both. Uh, that's uh, it. She already has shoulder armor. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, that whole and I'm sorry that I jumped to the end of the episode, but that whole conversation was so good, and I. I'm impressed that this season has like put a strong focus on Bo-Katan and like mm -hmm. I'm like I'm happy because this is a character who's been developing since Clone Wars the animated to now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I so, mean So wait, wait, let's let's I don't want to be the daughter but beginning. we haven't lost anybody in 3 seasons really. Right. I would hate for them to it's build coming. her up for her to be the one that it's you know coming. and again that, it could that is, it is is the whatever his name from uh uh John Wick 4. That we lose. It's the <gasps> yeah, yeah, Sharon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sharon. Um, all right. So the beginning of the episode starts when you see the Mandalorians uh, training, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know the kids are training. Yep. And so Din Djarin picks up Grogu. Who which is, is funny? He, they, you think he's pushing like rocks in the sand? That's awesome. But it's really just like crustaceans that are moving and stuff like that. That he's controlling with the force. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, yeah. I think they were hiding from him too, though. Uh, I, I think he pulled them yeah, towards himself. Yeah, but yeah. they didn't pop up because they're like, mm, I don't no, know they're like, they're like, we're being pulled. Like, like I'm <laughs> sure their little minds are like, because once he leaves, they're yeah, they're, they're running. Out, they're they're out, like, oh, that's yeah. enough of that. Yeah. So um, what I think is funny is he's training himself in the ways of the force right. while Din Djarin's like oh you gotta train to be a Mandalorian and I was like oh you don't know what y'all are in for yeah. so he, he um I mean he could be the next Mandalore of the great he could be you know if you think about it so Din Djarin um picks up Grogu 
and puts him in a challenge versus the kid from the first episode yes. that yes. has the hat. And they have these little things that they attach to the, their hands. Darts? And I'm, yes. Darts. And I'm like, how do you put that little thing on little girl? <laughs> he puts it on! <laughs> <laughs> he puts it on. And this is where, like, bo like you said, bo is becoming a mother figure to Grogu. So I'm thinking later on the line, there's a little uh, uh, Mando bo thing that, that could happen. Because they're kind of like a little him, family. Doesn't she kind of give him a hard time, though? Who? Bo-Katan, after that happens. About Gives who a hard time? Mando, basically, is like, you know, what are you doing here? He's like, Yeah, but she's like the girlfriend that's like... Correct, but he's, you know he, I mean? he's like, he's got to learn somehow. Yeah, yeah. And then when she says, my father used to do the same thing. Right. It's just as hard as it. So, they put the thing on him, and the thing is, um, you get around, and you get to shoot your little dart and stuff. And he's like, don't worry, just squeeze your hand, and it'll fire the dart. So they do the first round, the kid's like, bang! Right. And Grogu's just looking like, like okay, really? that's one. <laughs> Second one, bang! And then Mando's just like, come on. I know you, you can do the things. I know you can do it. Yeah, so then... Oh, actually, he jumps first. He, he does jumps, the force yeah, jump. Right. He jumps over him, yes. then flips back again and hits him three times, like, bah, 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 bah. In the chest. Yes. yes. And, and the <laughs> kid's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Which was great, because it's... Grogu's still a puppet. Well, even and even it's, before it's that, to remember give more life to it, the the what do you whatever you want to call it the 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 teacher is like, ah, isn't he a little small for this? And the kid's like, you know, yeah, yeah, he's, he always he's, the thing. Um, he doesn't one, have a helmet. Well, he doesn't have a helmet, and 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 then they say one doesn't talk unless one knows. Yeah, yeah. Well, if they don't speak, you know, if you if you can't speak the creed. Yes, he he doesn't have he doesn't have to put on the helmet right. so he's able to speak to. And yeah, and then, and then that's what they say. And that's when they say to him, "One yeah. does, basically don't talk about things you don't yeah. know." Um. So then this creature comes but out. But it's of interesting if Grogu never gets to speak. Oh, he'll talk. No, I'm saying, what if it's just like it was his one birth defect, right? Well, I think they're leading up to him speaking because in the last episode, she kind of Tan says this is the way. Mando says this is the way, and then right after Grogu right. goes. Well, okay. and like, you know what I mean, like he's right. Since so this to is say, now teenage Grogu, yeah. yeah. And, and Junker say, Scumbag says to him in that episode too, "Is that his first word?" Yeah. So like, yeah. So then this creature comes out of nowhere and snatches, from the sky. Yeah, and snatches the kid up that he fights. That thing looks and they awesome. they they again go after the it. effects this season yeah. ridiculous, but this episode was yeah yeah all they, in. They chased the thing. But then the fuel runs out of their yes. jetpacks, and what was dope. And Boca Tam. Yeah, no, I got this. Oh, I got this. Oh my, like, dude, yeah. I'm getting chills talking about right now. Yeah. Like, they set her up. Like, dude, I mean, I can't imagine. The actress must have been, like, reading the script and be like, I get to do this. Yeah. Like, my, I, I do love. So, yeah, so she she chases it down, but doesn't, but doesn't get all the way there because she doesn't want to spook it. But knows where I just love when she comes back and, and she's like, I already assessed the whole base. Guys, this is what we got to do, and they're like, Yeah, but how are we gonna? He's like, She's like, In training, I, I walk easily up a mountain like that, of course. Not. Yeah, yeah like my not, father like, made me do right, that like right, so, all the time, and they're all like, Well, she can do it, yeah. <laughs> so they go after her, right? Yeah, including they, the dude who's like, That's my son, yeah. Then he says, It's my son. Well, well, you don't know you that don't yet. know he's his son until yeah. he's rescued. It's yeah. the guy with yeah. the chain gun. Yeah. And then they have they sit around the fire and they're about to eat. These are cool Mando they moments. They are, yeah. Yes. Mandalorian moments. And they're about to eat. And she's like, well, we can't take off our helmets. What are we supposed to do? He's like, you got to go find some place yes. out there and just find a place. And she's about to get up. And they're like, no. You started this You get world. to stay by the fire because you're leading this mission. This yeah. mission. Yeah, and then she's starting to be like, yo, these dudes. And that was the and she like she got the respect right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, in the meantime, back at home, Grogu is with the armorer. Armor, yes, yeah. for the other greatest. Oh, oh my, my god, god, I get to do I this. I completely <laughs> forgot about that yeah. part. And she's uh, like, what well, the things that she was saying, and she's like flashback. And, right, and he's yeah. focused like, because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, like, and oh, she dude. she said the forge reveals weakness, right? And I was like, what? And, and Grogu's face, like intent. Like, yes, the way they made him look like he was afraid. I was like, that's a. Bro. Yeah. And I was like, that looks Well, I great. think it's a puppet with a little, little a little CGI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it flashbacks to Order 66. Yes. yes. And we finally get to see who saved Grogu. Which is amazing. Yeah, so the they, scene, the they're Jedi... deflecting everything. They throw Grogu yeah. in an elevator. Yes. And the one defending dies and go, lands in the elevator. So yes. Grogu's got to go up the elevator shaft 
with this dead, dead person, person right there, which is just like, wow. So then the elevator shaft goes up, and the door is open, and uh, his name is Kellerin Beck. Yes. Yeah. Jedi Master Kellerin Beck, who is played by the actor who motion... Uh, who well, played Jar Jar. He played Jar Jar. Yeah. He did the voice too. He did the voice too. He did, he did, voice every, too. He did everything. Played Jar Jar. He was the Andy Circus before Andy Circus. And, you know, I was watching Kamara. Kamara, she didn't get it at first. I was like, that's the dude. By the way, I didn't Jar-Jar get it at first too. I was just, I, was I didn't just, know that. You didn't I know just, that? no, I didn't yeah, know I, that. I found out after I watched the episode because I looked I, him up. He looked really familiar. Yeah. I, I didn't that was the thing. I was like, why does he look familiar? And then I realized I saw him in that Star Wars documentary where he was like, it was like, it was like 15 oh. years of people crapping on him at events. Yeah. And he then almost Fred, and oh, th- almost suicide. And then, the and then, then the younger generation was like, oh, we love you. And he was like, what? Like, yeah. what? I will, <laughs> I will say this for that guy. That as much as, as much emotional strife as he's gone through, he didn't let it become a dark thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, like he's still very grateful to play this role still grateful to be yeah. part of the star wars universe you could easily just go screw star wars he's a legend he, oh absolutely he Grogu. absolutely and he survives after doing some amazing yes. like and apparently he has scene. he has played this character before yes in a video they have like a game challenge at Jedi. disney mm, yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. and so i was like what yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. I didn't know that. so he he gets grogu he's like come on we're getting out of here and amazing like yeah, the double he, lightsaber oh, he grabs deflection. The other lightsaber from there starts filling yeah. in, blah, 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 and he gets Grogu on the bike, and they're out through Coruscant. Like, yep. he's going through. And I'm like, ah, oh, is this guy going to die, man? An engine goes yeah, out. Engine I mean, goes out. they kept. It yeah, was. Yeah. It was. So, and also, again, visually, it was. I mean, it wasn't quite the caliber of the actual Clone Wars finishing touches, I think, but for a TV show, yeah. it was like yeah. right almost there and then as they're going they crash land on this platform which has a naboo cruiser on it yeah i thought it was really cool mm-hmm. that the naboo people were helping the jedis yes and all that that was really cool and they gave him the ship and they blast off and they leave and i'm like he's alive yeah oh yeah i'm like he's, he's alive. out there. and they're like <laughs> go it's fueled yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you know this. what i love about the naboo cruiser i ha- we haven't seen one since the first, uh, yeah. since episode one. Yeah. Right? So I was like, oh my God, it's like, my God, shit. If you, <laughs> if you look at the context of it, Padme's still alive at this point. At that moment. She should be. Yeah. So she's yeah. probably told well, them, help the yeah. Jedi in any way that you can. If if she's you know had any I mean? communication. She's alive because Anakin hasn't gone to Mustafar yet. He, goes, he destroys the temple first. Yeah, uh, you're right. You're yeah. no, you're right. So you're she's right. still alive. And, and she's, not, and she's she's unaware. But she's, yeah. in, but she's in labor at this point. No, she's not no, in labor at this point right? because he no because he kills all the younglings and then goes right. She no, she, because remember they have the confrontation first. You're right. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, 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 you're, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So when she's in labor and naming the kids, That's he's right. his body is all That's burnt right. up and being turned That's into right. Vader. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So um, the fact that she could be around, she could actually be giving orders at this point, or at least sending communications to people, yeah. being like, you know, do whatever you can. And her and her yeah. father. I would adopted love, father too would still be I right. would love a little scene in the next episode. Not her episode adopted father. Wouldn't where, he? Um, Not her adopted father. Her do- you're thinking of her daughter's adopted right. father. Yeah. Which, <laughs> well, well, but that's why. Right, yeah, the man yeah. who will raise yes. her daughter yeah. is around. I, I and, he, a, and he was A nice it. little scene in a future episode is uh, that ship going and Padme comes up on the screen. Just for the message, you know what I mean. Like, if not her, then I, I would going crazy. If, I could yeah, see if bail if not, that. yes, I would. Yeah. A bail organa. If I was gonna yeah. say, if I have, if I get one of those two, I think it'll be great. First of all, I'm still loving him from his appearance on Obi Wan. I thought, I thought that whole Leia section was one of the best things that show had to offer. Yeah. Now the rest was a little weak, but that and the fights were the yeah. best thing the show had to I offer. I think their interaction oh, yeah, in that show was good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have issues with that series, but I, I, yeah. I still enjoyed it. But there's some, I mean, I, I thought it's stupid. So, yeah. But there are Grogu's great saying it. But he's he, gone. Uh, and we talked about this before. You remember how you were saying that Keanu looks older as the John Wicks go? Mm-hmm. How much older, or how much time are we talking about with Bale? But he looks way older than he does in the earlier series. You know what I mean? Oh, so I mean like, you I'm, know what? We, we I, let it go, but I'm we just let saying, we let know? it go. But I was like, you know what? Makeup, CGI. I mean, we, we have Alan Guinness compared to the Obi Wan. 
Sure, sure, sure. You know what I mean? Only ten years pass when you see Alec Guinness. Yeah, but and you, he's uh, just like yeah, but that's he's a looking old. That's a haggard <laughs> existence out in the middle of the yeah, desert, right? I guess so. <laughs> that's what we're gonna keep telling um, ourselves. <laughs> so, Grogu saved. Now we fly. We go back to the Mandalorian. Yeah. yeah. By the way, in th- I just want to reemphasize: uh, name of the episode is the Foundling. Yes. yes. Right. So this is this is Grogu the Foundling, yes. right? The kid who's abducted. They recently gave him the helmet, but I'm still going to give him foundling status. It mirrors Din Djarin's foundling, and it, too. And it mirrors Din Djarin's situation. Yeah. So now so now we're back with Bo-Katan and crew. Yeah, Bo-Katan and crew. They're about to, they scale the mountain yep. to go into the thing. It's like a huge nest yes. that's in there. And, and the uh, first dude up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they see a heat signature yeah. in there. They think it's And he kid. just goes. And he just goes, but it's really like the babies. Yeah, yeah. Because he's like, they're that's not sure my son. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's when we find out that's his son. Yeah. Um, so they end up, they end up getting the kid back. Well, the the I know, but that co- thing flies back, back and, and, and regurgitates yeah, yes. the boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was like, oh, you got him in there. Yeah, like, that's hard. He, he was like hanging out by his ankle yeah, and his yeah, mouth. Yeah. Like... And then he chases him off, and then you know they go after him. They end up killing the thing. They get the kid back. And right, because the kid is in its talon and yeah. the dude is in its mouth yeah. when yes. they go after it. And now they're just doing it. By the way, that was so beautiful of a tag team effort because although, like, bo gets the win, of course, mm-hmm. all of them contributed to, yes. like, maintaining well, like the beast old, and take it down. Yeah. You know, if you see those old, you know, uh, dinosaur movies where they're all hunting a woolly mammoth where, yeah, one person gets the, the kill shot. Yes. But without... You took out the leg, and you took out the back leg, yeah. and you know. But she was given, but she was also given the orders. So I yeah, was like, absolutely. I was yeah. like, so yeah, of course she gets it. But it was beautiful that like it was just. I just thought it was such a well executed mm-hmm. rescue scene, right? Where of course she still gets the props, but like it was like, yeah. like good job, guys. Like it was just like team effort. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, they bring the kid back, and they also said we have three other families. I kn- would knew that was coming. So I they bring the three babies that were up. And you know they're going to train them. They're you gonna train know they're riding them. Yeah, those. they're going to be riding those, and that's going to be dope. And then it ends with Cliff talking about with bo and the armor, mm-hmm. and, you know, she says the whole, I've seen it. She's like, sure you've seen mm-hmm. it. Like, she's like saying, I don't really believe you, but if you say you saw it, this is the way. You know, you know what you, I mean? also what I kind of like about the armor is she's just like, I don't want to believe you. But also, you totally proved that that planet isn't cursed and that the living yes. waters are still there. So, like, yeah. I got to keep an eye on you being tr- being yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. And um, the episode basically ends like that. A um, little speculation. If you watch Clone Wars, you know that there's another sister. There's Satine, her sister that died, Obi-Wan's girlfriend. Her... And there's another sister because remember she had a nephew yeah. that was in there and we never saw the other sister. What if the other sister is the armor? Oh, oh that's wild. Yeah, but that would, you know what? That would be interesting. I don't feel like they're going to do that. Yeah, Grogu I, got like a new piece of chest oh, yeah, plate. Oh, yeah, Grogu got yes. a little press. <laughs> yeah. That's a chest plate. Yeah. As, yeah. as big she as he is. She got some new armor. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, great episode, right? Great yeah. episode. Great episode. Great episode. Yeah. Can't wait till the next one. What do you guys think? Oh my god, is this like three episodes that I feel are like ten out of ten? Yeah. Like these were three yeah. strong. And like best I love still it. Yet to come from yeah. what I hear. That's still then yet clearly to come. they were at home doing their homework yeah. for this season because yeah. they were like, we're gonna do this and <laughs> this and we're gonna follow this guy and we're gonna do this so, and she's gonna be a badass. It's gonna be great. <laughs> oh yeah, and or we're gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what, oh, what do you guys think? Because what you think is really important to us and we want to know. Leave your comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell button, share with your friends. And remember, we have tons of other videos on the channel, so many reviews. We also have Mandalorian playlist for this season where you can watch the other videos that we did. Just go check it out. So, for myself, for Green Shirt Guy, for Phil, for Cliff, and the rest of the Council of Comments, we thank you for watching. We love you. We'll see you next time. Thank you.